Scotland via the now closed Waverley route, which ran between Carlisle and Edinburgh. The locomotive at the head of the train was Class A2 Pacific, No. 60528, Tudor Minstrel. board the train from Air to Troon. Engine number 103. Which is where we see it now. No, we're not back on the Isle of Wight. Photographer Neville Sims was just having a brief bovine moment. Our journey continues with a trip down the branch to Fakarva's town from Orbliston. between the stations of Alton and Malvern. came off the train and former Great North of Scotland Railway 440 number 49 Gordon Highlander took over. 
Unlike our previous two engines, which were withdrawn in the 1930s, number 49 ran in BR days, carrying the number 62277. At Inveramse, the engine ran round its train to traverse the Macduff line. which unfortunately by this time ended at Turriff, or Turra as the locals call it. On the same branch, we see the train at Rothy Norman. But this is a different here we see the special train at the terminus of the old Meldrum line. And Neville filmed class 20 number D8028 on the Burby branch north of Montrose. tour continued behind a pair of Ivert Class 2 260s and we see use and signal box which is still extant and in use in 1999. This is the Carmilly branch near Arbroath. And the Ivert Class 2s at the end of the line. Here we see them back at Elliot Junction on the main line. From where class J39 number 64786 took over and took the train south over Dundee's famous Tay Bridge. Lindors was situated on the former North British line which linked Dundee with Perth on the south side of the River Tay. we pick up two more different locomotives, Cali 440 number 54465 and Cali tank engine number 56347. Here we see 56347 taking the train onto the Bankford branch. Here it is at Bankfoot itself. 54465 taking the train to Forfar. And Cooper Angus.
locomotives running round its train at Blair Gowery. Finally, back at Cooper Angus. It was diesel haulage on the Allies branch. This class 26 would eventually carry the number 26039. signals at Allied Junction and also the signal box. After which it took the train back to Perth, which is where we see our fourth preserved Scottish locomotive, former North British class D34 locomotive number 256, Glen Douglas. Glen Douglas took the special train northwest out of Perth to visit the short branch line to Methven, long since closed, like most of the locations featured on this nostalgic Scottish trip. of Scotland. This is Paul Kemet Colliery, which survived well into the 1980s and retained its shunting engines long after steam had disappeared off the main line. <laughs> 